Remember to turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video. Because a lot of the charm of early on in the series was watching each individual ninja's unique approach to combat. And as the series went on, it's like they got further away from this style, with later encounters feeling closer to giant clumsy mecha battles than anything resembling these small scale, more intimate ninja fights that were initially so compelling. But while this makes sense in the short term, stretched over years or even decades, and the show will reach a point where it ceases to be recognisable as the same show as when it started. Either characters become so powerful fights don't even resemble earlier battles, or stakes keep escalating to the point of ridiculousness and starts alienating its audience. What I just played for you are influential anime YouTubers talking about how Naruto's fights abandoned their original style of combat. What was that original style? Creative powers and smart tactics combined with martial arts. This is a common belief among Naruto fans. I used to love these two videos and ate up everything in them. That was the old me. The new me is here to tell you that this is all a load of crap. If Jojo has fans that accuse the author of forgetting things when in reality they forgot, Naruto has fans that complain about nonsense as well. In this episode of Naruto fans are stupid, I'll be covering the idea that Naruto has no strategy at some point during part 2, presumably during the war. Back in the day, I used to be brainwashed and believed all of this, but my personal development and analysis and a recent cancerous comment forced me into my zone and realized that even the Kaguya fight was filled with strategy. So in this essay, I will go through each of the main fights in the war and explain the self-explanatory strategies because some of you are clearly too dumb to comprehend it on your own. There are two types of strategies that I'll be using, macro and micro. Macro is an overarching plan, like Obito phasing through all attacks. Micro is an individual tactical move, like Obito phasing through a nunchuck and then becoming physical to grab it. Naruto fans would have you believe that everything is just raw power in the war, but let's debunk that right here. The five Kages unite in chapter 562. In 563, Tsunade heals Anoki and Gara while A and Mei attack Madara. This is a macro. Mei blinds Madara with lava and A attacks from the blind spot. This is micro. Mei spits more lava, but Madara counters with Susano. A tries to break it, but that doesn't work. Those were micro strategies. Madara attacks with projectiles, but Gara and Onoki combine jutsus to create a shield. Micro. Onoki uses his jutsu to make A lighter. This combined with his lightning mode makes him even faster and allows him to break Susano. All of that is in 563. The fight picks back up in 575. Anoki attacks with an Earth Golem. Madara counters with a Wood Style Restraint. The Wood Star's coming for the Kages, so Gara creates Sand Clouds to lift them above it. Micro. The Wood Star's blooming flowers, which we'll play later. That's a macro strategy to knock out the Kages. Madara uses Susano to attack the Five and follows up with Fire Style. Mei tries to counter with Water Style, the elemental advantage, but they are all knocked out by the Flower's Pollen. Anoki gets rid of them with Particle Style. Micro. In 577, Tsunade uses 100 healings, a macro strategy of attacking without having to worry about defense. After her attack, Madara tries to burn her, but Mei counters with water, micro. When Madara evades, A and Onoki flank him with their combo jutsu again. Then Tsunade comes in and cracks the Susano of the distracted Uchiha. After that, Tsunade punches a hole in Madara, and Gara uses his sand to seal him, micro. This was a clone, and Madara comes from the wood to stab Tsunade from below, micro. In 578, Tsunade breaks the sword and uses it to attack Madara, but it doesn't work. Anoki tries to kill Madara with particle style, but is absorbed. Madara makes several clones to fight the Kages, macro. In 588, the Susanoos are beating up the Kages. Madara uses a Genjutsu to knock out A, micro. Anoki protects him with Earth. Tsunade gives chakra to Anoki so that he can use particle style Jutsu. Madara Susanoo kept him from absorbing it this time. A water dragon fused with lightning attacks him. He tries to absorb it, but there's sand in the water that begins to wrap him up. They put him in a tough situation. If he stops absorbing the sand, he'll get immobilized by the water and lightning, which will make him vulnerable to particle style. The sand surrounds him and they almost seal him again, but he breaks through with a stronger Susano. This is one of the few times where raw power works. In 589, he starts to mop the crew with perfect Susano. In 601, Madara reveals that he beat them all. Naruto, Kakashi, Guy, and B versus Obito starts in 565. Obito is about to grab and warp Naruto, but Guy kicks him, forcing him to warp himself, allowing Kakashi to grab Naruto away. I'm going to ignore the fighting against the Jinjuriki and skip to the Obito parts. It picks back up in 594. Naruto attacks with Rasengan, but Obito reflects it with his fan. 595 is where the strategy goes crazy. Obito's macro strategy is to warp his opponents and phase through their attacks. 
The hero's macro strategy is to force Obito to phase himself so that he can't warp them. Now, the micro. Naruto attacks with Rasengan, but Obito phases through and attacks once he's through, but it's a clone. Naruto comes from the front and Guy comes from above. Obito tries to warp Naruto, but Guy's chucks force Obito to phase himself. After the phasing ends, he throws Kunai at Guy, but Guy deflects them. When going for Guy, Obito faces through the chuck and plans to warp him, but Guy kicks the chuck back, forcing him to phase again, preventing him from warping him. After phasing, he attacks from behind like he did with Naruto, but Guy blocks it. Kakashi tries to warp the statue, but Obito uses his own Kamui to cancel it. Naruto reaches for Obito, but he breaks rocks to create a distraction. He warps from underground and tries to warp Naruto, who evades. Obito eventually faces his fan through the rock beside Naruto and makes it physical to surprise attack him. This traps Naruto between a rock and the fan and Obito pulls him in, allowing him to try and warp him. Kakashi is thrown by B with a lightning kunai to intercept this. He cuts through the rock because lightning beats rock and throws the kunai. The kunai forces Obito to phase, saving Naruto. After it's through, Obito kicks the kunai at Naruto, who is throwing a punch. Kakashi warps the kunai away and Obito phases through the punch. A crack appears where Naruto punched. All of that was micro strategy combining CQC with powers. In 596, B throws the three Konoha Ninja. Guy breaks a rock as a diversion and uses his chucks to distract Obito, who phases through it all. Obito is able to grab both chucks with prediction. While he's warping them, Naruto comes with a Rasengan. That's layered micro strategy. Obito finishes warping in time and phases through the Rasengan, planning to warp Naruto at the end. While the two are phasing through each other, Kakashi warps the Rasengan. When they go past each other, the Rasengan explodes the shoulder that Obito was phasing. That was some heavily layered strategizing that you can't find in other stories. The Kakis had something similar before Madara used Perfect Susano, and this isn't the last layered strategy that will appear. In 598, Naruto and Obito exchange and evade attacks. Naruto leaves with a Rasengan that gets warped, but Obito learns and warps a weapon to hit him. Naruto disappears and it seems to be a clone. A Naruto clone fires a Biju bomb, so Obito phases, but it's revealed that Naruto and the Rasengan were warped to the Kamui dimension by Kakashi, allowing Naruto to land the blow. Layered strategy. Madara joins in 600, but I'll skip that section since there's nothing interesting there. In 608, Obito sends giant shurikens, but Kakashi blocks it with a mud wall. Obito faces through it and stabs and warps Kakashi. Kakashi warps himself back. That injury allows Obito to get a combo in. Naruto protects Kakashi from Obito's shuriken, allowing him to use Raikiri to cut the weapon. In 609, Obito uses wood to restrain Naruto and tries to warp Kakashi, but Naruto headbutts him. Naruto throws Kakashi at Obito, but Obito warps him. Naruto throws a punch, but Obito phases. Kakashi, in the other dimension, attacks the phase body part. Layered tactics. Kakashi is able to warp back because Kurama gave Kakashi some chakra. That's the end of my analysis. The parts I'm skipping have strategy. It's just not very impressive. Sasuke and Itachi vs. Kabuto starts in 579. Kabuto attacks with snakes, but the brothers catch and cut them with Susanoo's. Sasuke tries to attack Kabuto, but he leaves snakes in his place and disappears. He throws his sword at the snake, but it slithers away. Sasuke uses Sharingan Gun to find Kabuto. He fires an arrow, but Kabuto dodges thanks to his new sensory abilities as a dragon. In 580, Kabuto uses a jutsu to cut off their sight and hearing, stopping their ocular jutsus. Smart. Itachi is able to protect Sasuke during the jutsu by using his instinct and predicting that Kabuto would attack Sasuke. When the jutsu fades, Sasuke attacks from a distance, but Kabuto jumps onto the ceiling. The brothers have the macro strategy of cornering their prey with Susano. Ichachi throws decoys, and Sasuke pins Kabuto. That's the micro. Kabuto reaches for the sword that Sasuke threw earlier to free himself. Itachi closes the distance, but Kabuto uses the sword to stab Itachi. He baited him. That's good micro strategy. That was a clone, and it burst into crows. Itachi uses the distraction to grab the sword and cut Kabuto, but just the horn, because Kabuto dodges. In 581, Kabuto uses Chakra Scalpel, and Itachi defends with Sasuke's sword. In 582, Kabuto uses inorganic animation to harm Itachi. Sasuke burns the area with a Matarasu. In 585, Kabuto attacks with a web, but the brothers burn it with a Matarasu. This doesn't work, and Kabuto uses bones to trap them from behind, while the web is in front. The macro strategy is to trap the brothers. Sasuke attacks the webs, and Itachi attacks the bones. While they're distracted, Kabuto uses a musical genjutsu to trap them. The bros use genjutsu on each other to free themselves. Micro. Kabuto attacks with Orochimaru, but the brothers catch it with Susano. Kabuto comes out of the mouth of the snake to bisect Itachi with Chakra Scalpel. Another genius strategy. In 586, Kabuto tries to possess Itachi with a kunai, but Sasuke throws his sword, but Kabuto grabs it with his tail. Then Sasuke uses Susano to grab Kabuto, forcing the latter to evade. Sasuke shoots fire, but Kabuto counters with water, the elemental advantage. Then the Izanagi takes place, which is a macro strategy from Itachi. 
Nearly every single attack is calculated and is a micro or macro strategy. In chapter 638, Obito destroys half of the first and second. His macro strategy is to one-shot kill his enemies. In 639, the second blows up Obito with tags while the first wraps him in wood. Their strategy is to restrain him. Then the second uses tandem explosive tags to try and kill him. When Obito is unharmed, the third launches shuriken at the approaching Jinchuriki. Obito cuts them with his black orbs. Obito then uses CQC to injure the third. Obito malfunctions, and Minato goes to attack. The Jinchuriki goes underground to hit Gamakichi, and tries to hit the airborne Naruto. Good micro. Sasuke protects him with Susanoo. Obito kicks away the Minatos, and then grabs the duo to kill them. In 640, Naruto grabs Sasuke and Minato with his tailed beast arms, allowing them to teleport. Genius strategy. Minato prepares for Send Flash by throwing Kunai, but Obito masters his form. Obito has a great CQC exchange with Minato that ends with the latter teleporting away by having a bomb planted on him. Good micro. In 641, the second teleports the bomb back to Obito. He had marked him when he was attacked at the start. Good micro. Obito blocked it with a barrier. Then, Sasuke uses a Matarasu to create an opening, but Obito blocks it. The second puts a mark on the fourth for the next move. Naruto and Sasuke combine their jutsu. Minato jumps in front of the attack as the second teleports to Obito. Minato takes the hit, and then the second and fourth switch places, hitting Obito. Layered micro strategy. Obito is unharmed. Gama spits at Obito before poofing away, and Obito blocks it, but the barrier is melted. This shows that Senjutsu works. The second and Naruto teleport a Sage Rasengan on Obito, injuring him. Now their overarching tactic is to use Senjutsu to defeat Obito. The Ten Tails next strategy is to set up a barrier to trap everyone and detonate them inside. In 643, Naruto and Minato share chakra. In 644, Naruto shares chakra with everyone and they teleport out of the barrier. Smart. In 645, Naruto and Minato use a Sage QB Rasengan, but Obito blocks. The two prepare a Sage Biju Bomb, but Obito summons the tree that absorbs chakra. In 646, it kills many people. The second and third try to stop it, but they don't do much. In 647, Sasuke cuts a root and inspires Naruto. In 648, Sasuke makes a curse mark Susano with Jugo to have Senjutsu and fights alongside Naruto's QB. In 649, their projectiles are blocked. In 650, everyone starts to cut the tree. Meanwhile, Obito grabs and smashes the duo. The duo combines avatars for more power. In 651, Obito makes a sword and shield. The Konoha teens join the tails with the Rasengans. The Rasengans break the shield and the Susano breaks the sword. In 652, there is a tug of war that ends with the Alliance's victory. This might be the most tactical fight in Naruto. In 669, Guy hits Madara with the first step of Evening Elephant. He is unable to continue, but the attack does damage. All the characters are given roles in the macro strategy. Minato will block the black orbs. Kakashi will use Kamui to erase the orbs. Gara will transport Kakashi, who holds Minato's teleportation kunai. Lee will protect Gara and also hold a kunai. All of this makes way for Guy to use Evening Elephant, since Taijutsu works on Tentail Jinjurikis. Madara blocks the first step, but is hit by the second, third, and fourth. In preparation for the fifth, Madara makes a barrier and throws orbs at Guy. Lee throws the kunai to intercept the orbs, which allows Minato to take the hit and teleport them away. Gara brings Kakashi close so he can warp a hole in Madara's barrier. This allows Guy to land the fifth step. This was all in one chapter. Then Guy uses Night Guy, which bends space to land a powerful blow on Madara. Once again, raw power in the form of Night Guy is barely used. Madara's macro strategy is to do damage with Limbo, his invisible clone. Sasuke counters this by being able to see the clone, and Naruto by being able to sense it. In 674, Madara starts with Shadow Blast and Naruto counters with his rod. Meanwhile, Sasuke tests his teleportation. Naruto attacks a distracted Madara, but Limbo stops him. The Sage attacks with Fang of Light, but Naruto ducks. The Shadow tries to attack the dodging Naruto, but Sasuke throws his sword at it. Micro strategy. The Shadow is unaffected by physical attacks, so the sword doesn't work. The Shadow knocks Naruto back. Madara moves in to take Sasuke's eyes, but he teleports his sword into him. Micro strategy. Sasuke realizes that the Limbo clone was injured by Naruto, and that his Limbo has a time limit, so they plan their layered strategy. While Madara has no limbo, Naruto starts a sealing Rasengan. Naruto and Sasuke attack each other with their respective jutsu, and Sasuke teleports Madara in between them. Madara escapes by slipping in his limbo shadow. Madara flies away, but Sasuke catches up to him, maybe with teleportation, and bisects him. 
All this strategy was in one chapter. In 680, Kaguya transports everyone to a lava dimension to kill them. Micro strategy. Sasuke counters by summoning a hawk. Kakashi uses a kunai and scroll to save himself, Sakura, and Obito. When that scroll burns, Naruto goes to save them. Kaguya uses this chance to attack them, but Sasuke defends with Susuno. Micro strategy. Her attack hits the pressure points of the hawk, making it fall. Naruto counters by using his flying ability to grab everyone. Kaguya and Naruto clash with blows, but Naruto is overpowered. Sasuke comes with his flying Susanoo, but he's also overpowered in 681. Sasuke teleports to Naruto to survive. While Kakuya is able to use raw power, she still uses strategy. A lot. Additionally, the heroes are now unable to use raw power and rely entirely on strategy. Kakuya uses a portal to get behind the two and restrain them with Black Setsu. Naruto is able to rip it off. The hero's macro strategy is to seal Kakuya with the sun and moon seals. In 682, Naruto uses sexy jutsu to distract Kakuya and land a hit. Micro tactic. They try to seal her but she freezes them in ice with a new dimension. Sasuke uses a Madarasu to escape. Fire beats ice. Kaguya realizes Sasuke's danger and moves him to an isolated dimension. Micro strategy. In 683, Kaguya tries using portals to hit Naruto, but to no avail. She then uses the area to attack him. Sakura and Obito plan to combine their powers to find Sasuke. In 684, Naruto fights back with Shadow Clones and engages in CQC. When Kaguya goes through a portal, Naruto follows her. Kakuya kills the clone with the tactic of firing bones directly and through the portals, making them come from different sides. The clone dies and Kakuya leaves, but in 685, it's revealed that Sakura and Obito warped to this dimension as well with Kamui, and Naruto distracted Kakuya so they could do their job safely. While Naruto fights in the snow, they eventually find Sasuke, who uses teleportation to make it in time. In 689, when Sasuke comes back, Kakuya moves to a high gravity dimension to hold down the ninja so that she can kill them. Obito teleports an attack to save Kakashi. In 687, Sasuke teleports to Kaguya to Chidori her, but she changes the dimension and disappears. Sasuke distracts Kaguya with Susano, and Naruto drops off her arm. In 688, Obito's chakra gives Kakashi dual mon get kills. Naruto pins down Zetsu in the severed arm. Sasuke takes a hit from Kaguya, allowing Naruto to jump her with 9 recent shurikens. She starts transforming and attacks the ninja. Sakura is saved by Kakashi Susano, which was achieved by him having two mon get kills. In 689, Kakashi uses his new shurikens to warp off some of Kaguya's arms. Kaguya tries one last attack and regenerates, so Team 7 launches a layered strategy to counter. Kakashi goes in with Susano, but Kaguya's bones pierce through his Susano and hit him, but he counters by facing through like Obito. His Kamui Raikiri cuts Kaguya's right arm. Naruto and Sasuke flank the injured woman to try and seal her, but Kaguya shoots a bone at Naruto, but this is a clone and Naruto had transformed into Sasuke. This is smart because Naruto knew her right arm was injured so he put his real body on her right. Because her right arm is injured, she fires a bone with her left through a portal to hit Naruto, but Kakashi warps it away. Sasuke, hiding behind Naruto clones, switches with a dying clone. They are about to seal her, so she tries to run away, but Sakura comes from above and punches her back down, allowing the two to tap her. Kaguya is sealed. That was an amazing last play with layers of back and forth counters. I already have a video on the last fight, so I won't cover it again. It has strategy. In conclusion, Naruto never lost his strategy. Did the characters become extremely powerful? Of course, but it never lost the tactics that it had at the start. The Kage combo jutsu against Madara, the combo Kamui plays on base Obido, the round robin attack against Obido, the Rasengan Chidori combo on Madara, and the final play of Kaguya are all reminiscent of old strategies like the Shadow Shuriken against Zabuza, except on steroids. If anything, it got more tactical as the story continued. Characters had more abilities to choose from, which resulted in more complex plans. To all the morons saying Naruto lost his strategy in part 2, I challenge you to find a fight in part 1 that has more strategy than Naruto and Company vs Base Obido, or Naruto and Company vs Tentails Obido. Find a fight with more strategy than Sasuke and Itachi vs Kabuto. Find a fight with one chapter that contains more strategy than Guy and Company vs Madara, or Naruto and Sasuke vs Madara. Find a fight with more strategy than Team 7 vs Kaguya. I guarantee you that you can't. There might be some with equal strategy, but none with more. And that's just a war. Throughout part 2, fights like Kakashi and Company vs Kakuzu, Sasuke vs Deidara, Naruto vs Pain, and Sasuke vs Danzo still exist and I'll class the fights in part 1. To all the morons saying Naruto has no strategy, what story are you comparing it to? Because there are only two other manga with strategies in the ballpark of Naruto's. They are Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and World Trigger.
and I'm pretty sure most of you aren't talking about them when you say this stupid line. I'm here to give Naruto its long overdue flowers and stop the false narratives. Story Surgeon signing out. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.